Hope you enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. And this is Solaris getting my latest view on uh, on Naruto Shibun episode of 476 and 478 right now. These episodes were by far the best. That's the best that the series had to offer. I, and, and I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for everyone who is a Naruto fan and, and a fan of the series in general right now. Uh, this series, this episode, these episodes were the best. It's Cause it gave us, oh, we finally get to see the climactic showdown between Naruto and Sasuke. Hey, and this manga, I really like the visuals they inspired in this in the episode. The visuals, the animation, Asian, and we also get uh, Asian, the the action, the jutsu, the way these two ninjas never gave up. Uh, those were the best moments. All right, let's get started. All right. Uh, what are these that gotta pan out, you know, in the moment, like, I right, seen these two, these two shinobi, these two boys, like, as men, they, the way they fought each other, the way they complimented each other, the way they act, like, right, especially you know, with they're both realizing their dream. I mean, they want to bring peace to the ninja world, not, you know, feel, I mean, hers by everyone become Hokage. Uh, Sasuke on the other hand wants to, I'm Hokage, but to, Right, but to do that, he has to erase the past. That means destroying everything and everyone and that may potentially be a trend, including the five Kage, Kage and the tail beast, everyone. And, and, he, and he doesn't call it the destruction. He calls it revolution, you know. Seeing how these two argue back and forth, saying means to be Hokage is when someone is willing to do whatever is necessary to protect his village. He kind of reminds me a bit of Donzo, the way he acted, the way he did sneaky things, you know. Uh, but Donzo was a scumbag, and he deserved what he got in the end. And while at the same time, I know to, so he had to struggle with all he had. He was the loser of the story. He already he struggled with everything he wanted, he wanted, wanted to was people acknowledge him, and they did. Hey, they do acknowledge him. He was a hero. He saved them. And, but more importantly, he always fought hardest the most to save the one friend he could never reach. And that was Sasuke, the person he wanted... Who was his? Who he wanted to be? Who, who was his friend and rival at the same time? You know, seeing these two boys, it all comes to a headway. Especially, you know, that he's doing everything he can to reason with him, saying that you didn't understand what Itachi meant at all when he, he went through to for you. He, and he says, "My brother is dead and part of the past. Past. My mother, my father, and even my brother—they're all dead. They're all part of the past. Uh, and so I." Uh, so he will become Okage by erasing the past that come has to create a new future. Seeing this, this was definitely really one of the most best episodes. The way they fought and still the way they clash. Has. Seeing how uh, at first when they started out, they started you know just flexing their muscles, you know, using their ju using their fists and overall. Then they the other time they use their real jutsu. Oh, one of the things I gotta know that Sasuke, hey, he's kind of a genius. The way he does, he's and Bass, he's a best, he's a tactitional fighter. I like, think for the head. Well, now it's girl, he's always been a bit impulsive, and impulsive and head on. You know, they both they're both the same and opposite all at the same time. You know, overall, seeing these two clash, and was the best. Sasuke and using uh, and Naruto's hands to weave hand sign, and Naruto using double Rasengan with shadow clones. And even though, you know, even though it didn't work, the way they would clash with each other, and then they would use their best technique. The, the pushy by their pack take each other to their limits. Their limits. Their very limits to hell and back. Right. That was something you gotta realize. Alright, and both of these boys, right, they went through hell already. They already hey, they went they beat Obito, they beat Imadra, they beat Kavia, and they and they still this much energy to do this. These two are literally the most powerful beings on earth. Alright, the most powerful ninjas right now on earth. And, and there's nothing anybody else can do about it. Kakashi Henri is all right, knowing that his two students, I mean, that two of his students are fighting, and, and a third is on the floor. Sakura, she's she's knocked out for most of it. And after what happened, this is one of the people reason why a lot of people hate Sakura, even though she's a main protagonist. She's one of, and part of Team Seven. She's not equal to the level of Naruto or Sasuke, and she would have been a, one of the best characters ever. But some people she was even other youths and develop. The Sage Six Fats uh, as can't do thing. He already gave them power. He can't just take it back. And his time's almost up anyway, like basically. I mean, he's already dead. What else can he do? <laughs> he came back as a ghost. Oh, more than once. Uh, and did, did the best he could. So he, uh, you can't blame him, you know, overall. Oh, for doing what's the best for everyone. 
um, and everything. This is has I think, see how these two clash and they both and they slowly build up their power. Naruto using his state uh, going sage mode, Skate with his Renegon, and both of them clashing one by one each other. And seeing how these two are both are with each other and know each other so well. Uh, for every counter there was a uh, for every counter for every attack there was a uh, it's a defense. For every hit there was another hit. Yeah, whenever someone when you knock one down, one goes back up, and vice versa. This was this was not this was a clash of will, you know, overall. Uh, seeing how these two represented each other in such a unique way, I mean, overall, with so much on the line, the future of the Shinobi world literally depending on these two students. Yeah, the way they complement each other. So I'm now to you in the how her Kurama and the Nine Tail Sasuke, his Renegon, and the power of the Susano. Oh, Oh, using the Susano as a vessel for its attack. Seeing how these two outweigh each other and outclass each other. Uh, the battle it had was climatic. But then as things start to go his head away, not Hasuke, he changes things. Uh, however, his things up. Uh, not until he doesn't want to kill Sasuke. He always wanted to fight with him uh, on equal terms as equals. Uh, and also as friends. While Sasuke, you know, uh, always seen to as a hindrance. And knowing that he was... Uh, he was a hindrance to someone he didn't want to get in his way, but also as a friend. So as a friend, acknowledging him as a friend, finally for the first time. But it could have him being a friend and holding him back exactly what he needed to do. No, him summoning all nine of those tail beasts, merging their power into so creating that ultimate Susanoo. No, and that look in his face, the way they animated his face at that moment. Oh, that, that's, that's, that, that was a nice shot. That screamed like movie quality, at least. He's, that, he's like at least that was like movie quality, the way, and the way his animation was done, the way so perfectly. Since he, hey, it, it was technically like turning all nine tail beasts to into himself, but turn but giving the power to the Susano. Now he didn't make himself into a Jinchiriki. Hey, he just poured all the power into the Susano. You know, like like how the Ghetto Statue became the vessel for the Ten Tails, which is a pretty good thing. And when you think about it overall, it's pretty. It's quite actually a very clever idea. So it's not, not what you call, you know, oh, nothing. Oh, you know, helpless and nothing. It's something you got to think about. And I think about that a lot. Nah, nah. But, so, but Naruto, he's not the kind to give up either without trick, except his own. And knowing that this was going to come right away, hey, hey, he, hey, he did his best. His, his, even though he held off Sasuke for a moment when he used his ultimate Susanoo, Oh, the way he would blow past all of Naruto's again. Even though he was in tail beast state, hey, he blow past almost Naruto attacks. Even using his shadow clone, um, which got called a symbol weakness, because that showed that you were all, because you make copies of yourself, that you were always alone. That's something, you, that's something overall. Hanging as a symbol. Basically, he used psychological warfare. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. But as the as battle progressed, Naruto, well, he managed to, and to buy time, even enough to gather nature energy itself. Nature energy. Using that, and he manages to enhance his powers even more. Or, and these two, you know, these two behemoths, these Goliaths. These, it's, it's a battle of David versus Goliath right now. Uh, these two Shinobi. Oh, Shinobi. As they unleash their ultimate attack, and also using Wind Style, Tail Beast Bomb, Sage Jutsu, uh, Susano, and Sasuke using Lightning. A Susano arrow Chidori, her ultimate Susano oh, oh, Chidori. Like uh, it's pretty uh, impressive. And as these two class, the it was a giant explosion. The entire landscape is literally nothing but dust. They also blow away the statues, even blowing away the heads. You know of Madara and Hashirama. Uh, these two boys are giving it all they got, and yet they still have the will to fight. And even when we're almost out of gas. They still he's fighting and fighting and fighting. Hey, even when Sasuke can help ask him, ask him, ask him, you know, this is the blow. Uh, as they punch each other, kick each other, they see that Sasuke even got the advantage of it, even taking away a small piece of Naruto's chakra, the nine tails chakra was given to him. And taking away that small piece, giving him a slight advantage for a second. However, the joke was on him because only because Karama only gave him a little bit and not the whole thing, and so he only get, took the amount that Naruto was given, uh, only a small portion, while he still had the rest of his reserves. Even as Sasuke drained his power, drained power, 
to his own visual powers were weakening and he lo losing, unable to use both his Shinigan and Renegon uh, to the breaking point. Point. Okay. And Naruto giving him that one punch, like one punch so as he hurled him towards the, towards the side of the cliff. And, and this, this was by far one of the most epic moments. Shinigan, why won't you, aren't you go down? Why could you let me cut you down? To let you, because I'm your friend, like overall. Oh, seeing these two as they release their ultimate their attacks, and this was an epic moment. Sasuke using Chidori slash his Amaterasu in his hand, and and Naruto cutting with his classic jutsu, the Rasengan. But when the Rasengan formed overall, when it was forming, we get to see these hands coming out of nowhere. And the first hand I recognized almost immediately. It was Jiraiya, because he wore that gauntlet on his arms. It was Jiraiya, because Jiraiya was the first to taught him. It, and he was the first that we, tsunami we saw use it. Then it was Minato because of the blue sleeve. Then we get to see all kinds of people. We get Kakashi, Hisakura, uh, 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 Ino, uh, Shoji, Maru. I think one of them was Konohamaru. Any, every people who put their hopes, their dreams in uh, Tsunade, everybody who put their hopes and dreams into Naruto, uh, asking him uh, to push forward, never giving up on his dreams, leading up to this point, well, he was supporting him all the way. He has that Rasengan form. Uh, and, and as those two finally clash, hey, we get this blinding flash of light. Hey, hey, all need to come to head and blinding flash of light as these two are consumed by the light and then and you get dark and then boom, you get to see yeah, Naruto and Sasuke right there. Now, this was by far one of the best episodes. So, one I've been hoping to look forward to. We already got greenlit that there's going to be another series of Naruto oh, right after this. It's probably going to be on Gaiden or... Or the events of the Boruto manga, which is happening now. A lot of people hated the Boruto manga because it was just recapping the events of Boruto, Naruto, the movie. Because I, I know I read it, so I know what I'm talking about. So, but overall, this was a best episode, uh, and it continues to next week. The it's called the Union Sun. I mean, Naruto and Sasuke. Hopefully, we we'll get to see the conclusion. I read the manga, so I know. But but this but this was epic. Seeing it in its anime form, uh, we get to see quotes and hints that we never saw before. Uh, these two, the way these two clash, these two warriors, these two shinobi clash with each other. This was by far one of the best moments, uh, and a moment that a lot of Naruto fans wanted to see for over a year, yeah, for a long time, ever since the manga had it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. This is Solomon Alex. Gave my latest review. Oh, I'm Naruto Shippuden. Episodes uh, four, four, seven, four, four, seven, six, and four, seven, seven. I'm out. Peace. Bye.